We've all heard about climate change and the human impact on the environment, about green energy and renewable resources, wind turbines, hybrid cars, and the like. But the extent to which our daily actions have an impact on the world we live in are not fully understood. We're becoming increasingly aware of how much we recycle, what, when, and how far we drive, which fuels we use, how much waste we generate, and how we heat and cool our homes, because we know that these factors contribute to our ecological footprint. But what about what we eat? What we eat, specifically the meat we eat, it may play an even bigger role in environmental degradation than car fumes or factory exhaust. At about 5% of the world's population, we Americans process, that is, grow and kill, nearly 10 billion animals a year. This means we raise and slaughter more than 15% of the world's total livestock. So why should we care? We demand and consequently produce disproportionately large amounts of meat, particularly beef. We've seen this overconsumption take its toll on our population's health. But what about the environment? In 2006, the FAO reported that producing a half pound of hamburger releases as much greenhouse gas into the atmosphere as driving a 3,000 pound car 10 miles. A byproduct of cow digestion is a gas called methane, which is released from the bacteria in a cow's stomach. Methane, or CH4, is one of the most potent greenhouse gases. It is estimated to be over 20 times more effective in trapping heat in the atmosphere than carbon dioxide. Methane is chemically reactive, meaning that it mixes with other gases once released into the atmosphere and can change their compositions. When these other gases are altered, their contribution to the warming of the atmosphere can also change and increase. A 1999 study revealed that cows emit between 2.5 and 4.7 ounces for each pound of beef they produce. A cow can weigh between 1 and 2,000 pounds, so even if only half of a cow is processed, a lot of methane is being produced. The effects of our hooved and spotted companions are becoming painfully apparent. Since 1750, methane concentrations in the atmosphere have more than doubled, mainly due to human influence. It's essential that we take action, but what can we do to combat the detrimental amounts of greenhouse gases being released? Even if we see a decrease in the amount of meat being consumed, well, cows still emit methane. Perhaps this is one more reason to go vegetarian, but for those of us who can't bear the thought of parting with a carnivorous lifestyle, there is hope. Ever heard of a biodigester? Can potent gas turn into a renewable energy? By transforming manure into energy, the biodigester decreases the amount of greenhouse gases that would otherwise be released. Here we can see Adrian Dahlin and a team installing a biodigester system in Palestine at minimal cost. The cow manure is broken down into organic material and the noxious gases are confined to the digester and converted into a renewable energy source called biogas. The biodigester is designed to process manure like a cow processes food. The two final outputs of the biodigester are biogas and solid nutrient-rich matter, which can be used as fertilizer. So what good is biogas? It can be used as an electricity source, to heat your stove, warm your shower, or to power your lamps. We have to keep in mind that no energy source we are capable of using today comes without a price. Burning any organic matter still releases chemicals and particulates into the atmosphere, so biogas can't solve the problem entirely. As always, our individual choices can make a big difference as well. Making informed decisions about what you choose to eat and which type of food industry you are supporting is important. Think about the little things, how much meat you eat, where you buy it from, and how it's produced. If enough individuals choose to make these small changes, we can make a big difference. So be aware, think before you eat, and help us protect this world we live in.